Well, speaking of political power, as you mentioned in class, Karl Rove apparently is one of your biggest fans, or at least one of his favorite history books is Free Soil, Free Labor, Free Men. I was wondering if you could talk about what you thought he got what, from what? the book. Well, this was uh, reported in a profile of Karl Rove in the uh, New Yorker magazine uh, back uh, maybe 10 years ago or something like that. And, um, you know, uh, we write books so that people will read them. I don't necessarily agree with Mr. Rove on many things, but um, uh, we want our books to be read. And I, I imagine that what Rove found interesting and useful and impressive in that book was that's a book about how you build a majoritarian political coalition. How, from nowhere, from a, a party which doesn't exist, the Republican Party, suddenly within six years becomes the majority party in the North and elects a president. How did they go about doing that? It, and I, you know, I show ideological developments, but also how different factions are brought into a party and how you try to find the sort of lowest common denominator that all these different factions, radical, conservative, ex-Democrat, ex-Whig, whatever, can unite upon. So uh, among other things, it's a primer on how to build a political coalition and a political majority. And I suppose that probably Mr. Rove uh, found that very interesting given his career, but I, you know, I was skeptical about this, actually, not that I don't trust The New Yorker, until a few years later when at the end of one of my, the very last day of one of my classes after the, it was over, a student came up to me and said, Professor Foner, I am going to be working as an intern in the White House this summer for Mr. Karl Rove. I guess this was under Bush's presidency. And um, I said, well, uh, Good for you, you know. He, uh, well, he said, I, you may not approve of this. I said, uh -huh. I don't disapprove. I, I think you'll have a very interesting time there. He said, well, I'm glad you feel that way. And he took out my book on Reconstruction, mm -hmm. and he said, Mr. Rove asked if you would autograph this for him. So I endorsed the book to Carl Rove. So I hope he's read that one also. Um, it seems like it would have been more relevant circa 2003 in the White House. Well, Reconstruction was on their mind yeah. since uh, they were in Iraq and thinking about how to reconstruct that. It didn't quite work out the way they expected, <laughs> but, um, you know, hope springs eternal.